Hi everyone, this is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and I'm here with Sonic the Hedgehog. So this is an adorable little fluffy Sonic, he's pretty vintage, which I got off, uh, off Facebook a whole while ago. Actually, we ended up being friends, me and the seller, on Facebook and I've been uh, buying another Sonic plushie of him. I think it was the Kelly Toy Silver, which is in my plushie basket. But apparently he has been collecting Sonic, uh, just like I did, just for a bit. And this is one of the plushies that I could buy from him. So, this is, yeah, this is real and adorable Sonic. I really like his fluffiness and his little eyes. And this is actually his little shoes. I really like the fur, his fur on the, on the legs. Kind of reminds me of the fur that Sonic has in the, in the movie. So, this is adorable little ears. And this guy comes with this little hang rope. So he can hang yeah, a little loop on his head so he can hang him up. He has this little S on his um, neck. So he's about 10 inches. He's not very large, but he's super cute. Definitely one of my cutest. And on Vinted, actually, I came across an adorable little lookalike, which I could obtain for like about 5 euros. So I decided to get that guy. Because for some reason, sometimes I'm still a bit sensitive for Sonic plushies. And that's why sometimes I, I end up getting one. So I'm just going to show you um, what I received today. So here's a little guy. Just look how cute. <laughs> there you go. So it's basically the same plush. It's a bit larger. Um... I think I can show you like this. He doesn't have the same look in his eyes, but of course when plushies are very fluffy, sometimes the look in their eyes is very different from plush to plush. Also, again, those adorable little ears, it's so cute. And his, well, he's not the most, he doesn't have the most accurate classic Sonic eye, um, eye effect. Actually, he doesn't really have the right gaze or the right expression in his eyes but i think well here again he's like super fluffy on his little legs and on his fur and he's a bit used i don't really know which brand made this plush um where is the store start not quite much to read on it but this plush is about about 14, five, uh, 15 inch. It's uh, it's not a it's not a very large one, but it's a great middle size one actually. Um, so it's basically the same. These plushies don't have beans in them, but I can really recommend both. Just that this guy's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna wash him. He's a bit dusty. This guy got washed as well, and he looks gorgeous now. I think his previous owner got him in Paris, a game convention, I think, I'm not quite sure, that's what he told me. Um, it's like they're talking to each other, see? <laughs> Very cute. And now I actually managed to find an even larger one that looks quite much like these guys, which is this one, got him off eBay, he's indeed a bit larger. He's in a bit of a better condition, his, his mouth was detached. I don't really know if this is meant to be the same model, he has the same fluffiness. He's got big eyes, and they are a bit, yeah, they kind of messed up the, the eyes a little bit, obviously. Um, he's cute though, he's got the same fluffy legs, and uh, same big size, so there you go. And this is about an 80 or 20 inch Sonic plushie, so... I was thinking about selling this guy, but so far I'm not quite sure yet. Look at those ears. He can be great for sleeping. He can absolutely be great for sleeping, so I think I might just use this guy. Also, he is, yeah, really fluffy and cute, and I think he's the kind of Sonic plushies that I really like and that I want to keep. 
so he is. He's the big one. Not quite sure if these guys are meant to be um, are the same model, the small one, the middle sized one. I have no idea how many sizes they are available. Hmm. Yeah, this is a real one. This is really great because it fits so well in your hand. It's so cute. It's also pretty close to the size of a real hedgehog. And just for the people who can get inspired from a little story, for example, the one with Fitch, we can just, yeah, pretend this guy's stuck in the fence and try to, dig, try to dig him out. Might be a nice little pretend game for the youngest ones. Those poor hedgehogs. Hmm? Yeah, that happens sometimes. Fences, they are quite a danger for hedgehogs. Um, but back to this guy. So he is, well, dusty. And he looks quite much, in fact, there's not much of a difference with this little guy here. Except the fact that this guy is cleaner. Um, this is basically what they look like. So you're really getting a gorgeous blush. Can't believe I found this guy for like 5 euros. That's unbelievable. On eBay you'd pay at least, well, I have no idea how much. But way too much anyway. So. But on Vinted, Sonic plushies are actually pretty frequent. There are a few. And so you can actually obtain them for a pretty honest price. Actually, I would pretend even cheap. So once again, Vinted Strikes, for me, is just absolutely nice. Yeah. It's not clear for me these days what I'm looking for in Sonic plushies. So I am... It's still pending actually what I'm going to do what I, with the collection. I really like the ones that I have and I will keep them, of course. But it's not quite sure if I'm going to carry on collecting because I just can't keep going and going and going. And I don't have the room for this. So sometimes when I have a little soft spot for one like this little guy here, I might just collect. But otherwise I think I'm going to sh uh, shut down on collecting. So if I get more Sonic plushies you'll find out. It's just that I have a, um, a huge amount of them already actually. It's nothing compared with the huge Sega fans. But still, it's it's actually more than enough for me. So, and I really like them all, so I don't feel like giving them up. Just to keep on collecting. That's why I am. I think I'm going to care really much for the ones that I have. And if there is one that I really really like, you'll be sure to find out. So so far, just to receive this guy. I I really really love him. He's so cute. Oh, you're dirty. You're so dirty. You're a cute hedgy. Another great Sonic. He's gorgeous. Magnificent. There's another one, again on Vinted, uh, a little damaged one. But I just can't just keep on collecting them and not have to, having to throw them away after a while, reselling them. So just painful. It's painful. So I think, yeah. I think I have to make up my mind and see what I'm gonna do with them. I mean, not with the collection that I have right now, but I, I don't think I will keep on collecting very, yeah, fanatically because I don't really have enough room for this, and I'm pretty sure that well, yeah, I have so many Sonics already. Get this little guy. He's amazing. I really recommend him. He's super squishy. No beans. Um, he's missing a bit of detail in the shoes. He has like the very pointy shoes. But you can actually see basically the same on my plush here. So yeah. Really glad though I could find one like this a bit larger. Because I really love this guy. I really love him. I had him on my bed today. So they're special to me. They're really special to me. And I want to treat them that way. I really like Sonic plushies, but I can't collect all of them. So, <laughs> there you go. 
Now I think I'm going to end it here. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Just show you the hands in detail. See? Not much detail on the hands this time.